dramaship I am a newbie when it comes to K-drama barely a year old. In the past year I have binge-watched countless hours of K-dramas and spent a lot of my lunch time at work scrolling through various K-drama-related websites and most of it was spent on drama beans. I have always looked forward to writing on a topic that I knew enough of. When I saw that this month's topic is drama sequels, I couldn't wait to write about it. Like most newbies, I watch dramas for romance. However, in most dramas, I feel the 16-episode arc covers all the aspects of a romance. I would rather re-watch it than watch them go through the ups and downs of a relationship in a sequel. For me, the drama that needs and deserves a sequel is Chief Kim. I can't believe I am saying this, especially when I was so skeptical about watching it and had even planned to drop it halfway. Also, I have to thank everyone at Drama Beans for recommending the drama. Why do I want a sequel? Two reasons, Nam Goong Min and Lee Jun Ho. Their bittersweet relationship at the beginning of the drama to their saccharine sweet friendship towards the end took romance to a whole new level. Most of the drama was fraught with mistrust and tension between the duo, though not at a villainous toxic level they were more like frenemies. Only towards the very end do they come to be on the same team, and though the bromance scenes are aplenty, I can't help but want another sequel with them as a corporate crime-fighting duo with many more antics, more scenes of Jun Ho singing badly as he does in the bass scene when singing and looking oh so adorable, also eating away like there's no tomorrow, and bromance between the two. Nam Goong Min and Lee Jun Ho headlined the drama and anchored it extremely well, but what made every second of the drama even more fun and interesting were the secondary characters, such as Nam Sang Mi as the ethical and righteous assistant manager. Her chemistry with both male leads was fun to watch. With Nam Goong Min she went from being suspicious to a trusted and trusting friend, and there was the almost romance with Jun Ho. A sequel can definitely develop both these storylines. And with Jun Ho being so good at his new romantic roles, just between lovers and Greasy Mellow, I can't wait to see him being mushy in an office romance. The talk of secondary characters is incomplete without the mention of the eclectic co-workers at TQ's finance department who cared so deeply about each other, each with their own quirks and backstories. There's also the bumbling duo of investigators who were so much fun to watch, with the bumbling rookie spy and her spying skills and the quirky investigator she reports to. This was one drama that had made me invested in each and every character and even in the finale I kept looking forward to more. Write an in, a sequel please with the second helping of dishy bromance, and maybe a romance or two. Related